Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Hands on African Motives, uh, still on electrical trade theory, uh, level N2. So in this case, we are going to be focusing on the part of conductors, insulators, and cables in this case. Uh, that is uh, from the question paper of November 2022. We are given uh, the first part on question 2.1 to complete the following uh, sentences by choosing a word or words from the list below, right? Only the answer next to the question number 2.11 up to 2.12 in the question, uh, in the answer book. So we are given these are the answers where we are supposed to be picking uh, from. So with regard to joints and termination in SA and S, uh, which is 1014 to regulate, remember from our regulation, from the sound regulation, the joints we are given and terminations shall not, right? So we are given the first part 2.11. Adversely affect the current carrying capacity, the insulation resistance, or the so which part of the cable pole or conductor in which they are made. So we are adversely the af the effect like what is the what, how is it going to affect the current carrying uh, uh, capacity? Okay, so this is uh, going to be affected uh, with this part of. Oh, uh, let's see. We are given the insulation resistance or the from this part, which other part is going to be that is uh, the earth continuity in this case. So we have got insulation resistance or the ins uh, the earth continuity at the same time. So this is going to affect our 2.11. That is a 2.11, uh, which is earth continuity. All right. Uh, then we are uh, uh, on the other part be made in any connector and elbow or of a conduit. Okay, so which part of the conduit in this case we are given? These are the connections that we have, the other components that we have, like we have got the connector, bent, elbow, or what? So the other part that you can have is a T pi in this case, or so a conduit. So this one is a T pi. So, which is uh, 2.12, that is the, the appropriate answer that we can have in this case, which is a, a T pi. Okay, um, mention on question 2.2, .2, we are now given to mention two properties of mica as an insulator. What are the properties of mica? All right, so these are some of the properties that I'm having for mica. Uh, we are given the first part that it is extremely tough mat uh, material that can withstand very high temperatures up to 1000 degrees Celsius. All right, the other part, it is a silicate mineral found in granite and other, and other rocks. So that is uh, what we can have on these properties. And then also it is highly fireproof, incombustible, or uh, that is the part of non-flammable and infusible. So this can be part of your solutions also. Then high electrical resistance and low temperature coefficient. All right, so uh, from these properties, we are supposed to use them. Uh, in this case, how many? We are asked to mention two properties. So out of the four that we have, we just pick any two. All right. Uh, on 2.3, we are now given on 2.3, a single phase circuit is a declared phase to neutral voltage. So take, it, take note in this case, we are given a, the declared voltage, which is uh, the phase to neutral voltage of what? 240 volts. Calculate the minimum allowable voltage at any point of consumption. All right, this is three marks. So remember that if you are dealing with the, the minimum allowable voltage, we are saying that we are given the supply voltage, which is our declared phase two to neutral voltage. So this is your supply. So we have got our V supply in this case. Let us just see this part. So we have got our V 
supply, which is the supply voltage of uh, 240 volts, the one that we are given. Then in order for us to have the minimum allowable voltage, I'm going to have the formula. So V minimum allowable, right? I'm just gonna have this as allowable uh, voltage, all right? Voltage is equal to the supply voltage. So we are going to you will subtract uh, the percentage from the supply voltage. That percentage is uh, referred as the V drop. So the V drop is a percentage which is always taken at 5%. So this V drop is always at 5% of the supply voltage. Take note of this one. It's always taken at 5% of the supply voltage. So that means we can calculate the V drop in this case, the voltage drop at five, that is at 5% of the supply. So 5% simply means five over 100 times. The supply voltage, which is our supply is 240 volts. So that means we can uh, have our voltage drop, which is 12 volts. So this is our V drop. So this voltage that we have is going to help us to determine now the minimum allowable voltage, which is from the supply. We said it's a V supply. That is our V supply is 240 volts minus V drop, which is the percentage of the supply, which is 5% of the supply, which gave us 12, uh, 12 volts. So that is how uh, we are going to subtract these two. So 240 minus 12, which is going to give us 228 voltage. So the volts in this case. So this is the minimum allowable uh, voltage that we can have. Uh, whenever we are given this consideration, we use 5% to calculate the uh, voltage drop. That is how we attempt uh, such typical questions. All right. So uh, on 2.4, we are now given a consider to in on fig one below, it shows a basic construction of the XLPE insulated cable. Uh, identify the parts labeled. Okay. So this one is just an issue of identifying these parts. Okay. So the 2.41, okay. This is, these are the conductors. So this one, that's a conductor. All right, so remember, we have got a conductor in this case. Then we have got uh, the insulation of our XLPE on this one. So this is, uh, all right, let me just try to use this one. So this is our XLPE insulation. All right, that's our insulation in this case. All right, we move on to 2.43. So this one is our inner shed of what? Of the PV. So this is our P. VC inner inner shed, okay, uh, like this. So that is what we have on two point four. These ones, this is these wires that we see. They represent the wire armor. So this is the steel wire armor. These wires that we see. So this is a steel wire armor. So you can be asked to identify these parts, okay? Then the last part, this. This cable, the, this one that we see, the, the, this here that we see is the outer shed. Remember, we've got the inner one, this one. Then we've got the outer shed for the PVC, outer shed like this. Okay, so this is uh, what we have on our XLPE insulated cable. So you're supposed to identify these parts, guys. We are supposed to identify its part of your syllabus identification uh, of components and uh, parts of anything that you are given. All right, so that's what we have uh, on this person, uh, working on conductors, uh, insulators, and cables for Maison African Motives uh, till we meet again.